Hello, uh, today I want to show you when is a good time for us to sacrifice the piece. Uh, should we sacrifice or no? So this is the difficult question in chess because if we sacrifice and it turns out that it's not good, then of course we will lose the game because of that. So it could be uh, some uh, decisive thing in chess in that game what you are playing. So how to know when is a good time for us to uh, start with uh, that sacrifice? On that question, uh, we can answer with some uh, other things what we can see in this position in or in every position. So uh, it's not only about uh, calculation because this is of course one of the most important things especially when you want to open position and when you sacrifice the piece probably you will uh, open position a little bit so uh, or you will start to attack. Uh, so that means that uh, you don't need only to calculate, you need to also to pay attention about some other things here. So uh, my idea is that when we start with uh, some sacrifice, I call that Operation Blitzkrieg. Why I call that Operation Blitzkrieg? First, we have a time, because uh, when we sacrifice some of our pieces, the time is running low for us. How or why? Because on that way, when we sacrifice, uh, our opponent can uh, consolidate position in few moves if we don't do anything specifically what we want to achieve. So it's important for us to uh, on, on short time to, uh, to do something big in enemy position because uh, we want to take more material instead of what we already gave or maybe we will give checkmate. Depends of position, of course, what we want to achieve with that sacrifice. So why I call that with uh, that this uh, uh, when we sacrifice that is Operation Blitzkrieg. First, uh, one of the most important thing is element of surprise. So when you sacrifice, usually your our opponent didn't think about that, that we will sacrifice. So element of surprise is on our side. Second thing, we need to pay attention about how ma how much uh, black has or the enemy has uh, pieces on that side. So if we can count here, there is a two pieces on the king side. We have a little bit more. We have a bishop, we have a knight, we have a rook, and maybe the queen also could be transformed uh, fast in attack, but for that we need uh, speed. Speed is so important in chess, especially in Operation Blitzkrieg. So strike fast, strike deep, like in World War II. So um, with speed, so first we will sacrifice, and then speed. Speed means that we will uh, play some tempo moves here. So. First we will sacrifice, then we will uh, play tempo moves. In that way, our opponent won't be able to move his pieces from one side to another side. So from queen side to, ki to the king side and to save his king or to try to save him. So uh, two uh, important things. When we sacrifice, we have element of surprise and we have a speed. That is something what we need to accomplish in every Operation Blitzkrieg. And third thing. Uh, usually we need to have uh, our queen next to the enemy king. So somewhere close to B, because probably we will give checkmate with our queen. 90% uh, of positions when we give checkmate, uh, that means that we will give checkmate with, uh, uh, with the queen. So our queen should be involved in the game. So let's see. Uh, also, I need to tell you that uh, when we uh, want, uh, want to attack, usually uh, three steps for attack, what we need to accomplish. Not for uh, Blitzkrieg, this is something uh, different now. In every attack we can consider that we need to accomplish three steps. First step, take the space. We have here more space. Why space is so important thing in chess? Uh, with space, we will uh, put our pieces on better places. So uh, with better places for our pieces, we can have more activity, like here. Only because of this pawn, our bishop can work, we have open diagonal. Also, because of this pawn, only because of him, the knights can't enter and to defend the enemy king. So they, are, they need to uh, find some alternative way how to bring, uh, bring them on the king side and to protect the king. Maybe rook f7, maybe the knight f8. Okay, that could be interesting for black and he will probably then, uh, the king will be more safer than now. Okay, so something like that could happen. So uh, first thing is take the space because of, if you don't have space, your uh, your opponent probably will be able to bring his pieces on really fast way 
to the uh, to the enemy side uh, to to the side where we want to attack him and then maybe he can ruin our attack who knows but uh, we need to accomplish it whatever i th I, I say uh, about uh, chess this is something what could happen in most of games but chess is so complicated so uh, this can't work in every situation of course there is no formula in chess how to play chess because everything depends on position but we can say in most of positions yes that could happen so first thing is take the space when we want to attack in every situation so take the space second is build position on the side where you want to play so now when we took the space of course it's much easier for us to bring the pieces there because we have that power we have space so we can put our pieces on better place so it's so logical so we will put our pieces there we will prepare attack in some of our or, or, or uh, in some of my uh, next lessons we will see how uh, top players in the world they're they're using that uh, that things uh, they follow three steps for attack i i didn't uh, uh, copy them for that i totally invent to myself but probably they're using the same thing or the same technique we can say okay take the space build position on the side where you want to play and then open how you can open position there is two ways how you can open position first exchange the pawns so in this case if we exchange here maybe on f6 we will open a little bit position maybe he will take with the knight and we will have a little bit more open position but this is not what we want here because if we take on f6 uh, black will glad accept that because he will take with the knight probably and the knight will be then good defending piece so it's not good to take here how uh, also we can open position there is two ways with the pawns, maybe uh, with the pawns could uh, could means here we will put our pawn on h6 and then we will trade him or we will try to trade him with with a g pawn. But probably black won't accept that he will play g6. And then again, why we play h6 for end game that could be good because we have a pawn on six track. But now we are in middle game. We want to win or we want to take advantage from this middle game because now we have some advantage and now it's time for us to react. And uh, if uh, we can't trade the pawns, I mean to open on that way, then probably we should use Operation Blitzkrieg. That is how we can open also position. Operation Blitzkrieg means that we will sacrifice something. So when we sacrifice in this position, we, we can sacrifice the bishop on h7. Immediately position will be more open than what we have now. So without pawns or if we have less pawns in some position, we can consider that that position is open. So this is uh, that type of position. When we sacrifice here, we can start with Operation Blitzkrieg because after Bishop H7, the king the king probably must accept that because if he doesn't, then we can move the king the bishop on G6 and then again we can continue with our attack. Black will be really weak through the light squares, which is great for us. So only thing what we need to consider after Bishop takes on H7 is King H7. So, and, uh, before you start with Operational Blitzkrieg, of course you need to count the moves. You need to calculate that. But it would be much easier for you uh, to know when it's time for Operation Blitzkrieg. So, you can, you can follow some steps. If you know to follow them, you, if you can recognize them, it will be much easier for you to uh, come to the conclusion that you, now it's time for me to uh, start with Operation Blitzkrieg. What we need to follow here? There is a lot of pieces on the other side, like in a real war. If you see that your opponent has uh, maybe uh, far away in miles, in it doesn't matter, or in kilometers, uh, far away his army from uh, from uh, some potential uh, front where you want to open the front or where you want to attack. If you see that, then of course it's time for you to react because his army, most of his army, it's not there. So it will be much easier for you to uh, destroy that uh, area or to break that area, whatever you want to achieve. So it, for us, is much. Uh, it's so important to recognize that where is that, uh, when is that moment. So we, we can see that there is a lot of enemy pieces on different side. And they can't be uh, included in defending the enemy king right now, especially if we are using the second thing in Operation Blitzkrieg, that is tempo moves speed so much uh, it's so important thing speed if we have that speed after we sacrifice probably we have 
clear sign that we, that will be successful for us. So let's start. So first step is uh, how many pieces are out of the game. Second, how uh, pieces we can uh, involve in attack in fast or in some short way. So how many pieces are our uh, our uh, is our pieces uh, mobile to enter in attack in really fast way, in really fast way. Way. So this is that is so important because the time is so important thing in chess, especially when we start with Operation Blitzkrieg, because we will sacrifice something. If we are not doing that with speed, we don't have speed, then probably our opponent will consolidate position, and after that, of course, we will probably lose the game because um, we don't have that activity with uh, that at attack anymore. So that is so important. So let's start. So uh, also we need to uh, calculate, I, I told you. So uh, when we st uh, start with Operation Bridge, we, we need to know what is the next move. So of course, if we want to continue with speed, we need to play some tempo move here. After that, there is no uh, couple of te tempo moves here because we need to give check that is tempo move or we will attack something important. In this case, we can't attack anything important. We need to give check. And of course, the enemy king is in, uh, in, is, uh, in that... Uh, position so he is exposed to attack. Queen c2 is not good because he can play f5. So only thing or only next ch uh, chance for check is knight g5. So we will sacrifice the knight. Okay, let's ex uh, let's uh, sacrifice the knight. But in that way we will open h file. If he takes, we will open h file, which is great. If he doesn't take, we don't need queen c2 and f5. If he doesn't take, uh, we will include the, uh, the queen in the game. So we have practically final moment in the game because knight and the queen, they are cooperate together. That means that probably we will give checkmate. We have uh, knight on g5, he is controlling f7 square, so the king can't escape. And queen, when she is on, g on h5, we are threatening queen h7 checkmate because the, king, the, the knight is protecting uh, g5 square, so the king can't take our queen. Or if he takes then the knight, we can take with the pawn, and then again we have connection with the queen and the rook. So still we, we will try to checkmate on h7 or h8, depends. Uh, but first we need to play g6 to cover that f7 square, because the queen uh, won't be on h5 and to protect f7 square. Okay, so um, that is what we can calculate here. Before we start operation, operation Blitzkrieg, we will, we will we can see here already that we have something when we sacrifice that we have some speed, and our pieces will be able to uh, to be involved in the game on really fast way. So bishop takes on h7, king takes. Now we can move the pieces because we saw already that it's it, it could be good for us. In chess, you can't be totally sure only if you're a grandmaster, if you see everything, if you can calculate on really fast way. If you don't see, still, you can uh, you can sacrifice because you, you're you following uh, my rules in chess. So if you know that, if you recognize when it's time for Operation Blitzkrieg, we will practice in uh, a lot of more uh, positions and then you will be more comfortable to sacrifice when you see different type of positions when you can use Operation Blitzkrieg. But for now, we have here. Uh, this position. So knight g5, if he takes, that is one of options, of course, we can take with the pawn, and now we have that situation. So, or you can play queen h5 if you want first, it doesn't matter, still king g8, and then h takes. This is must play not with f pawn, of course, because we, why to take with the f pawn? We have rook on h file, so we should use him with the queen. We need to connect them, and then after g6, the game is over because, and black can't prevent that. We just sacrifice two pieces, but now. The king can't escape anymore. So we are threatening to play g6 and then queen h7 or queen h8 checkmate. Black can't do anything about that. Okay, so that is something what could happen here. Uh, other solutions here is maybe king g6, but then we can we can play h5 and after king h6, knight e6. We can attack the queen with the tempo, queen e8 probably, because this is some maybe good defending move for black, because now the queen... Uh, is involved in, in defending the king, but then we can move our queen on g4, and we are threatening a lot of combinations here, especially now this is tempo move because we are threatening checkmate, so maybe rook g8, but then f5 with the tempo, then maybe king h7, I mean he must play king h7, he can't play g5 because we have ampassant that will be checkmate, 
so king h7 and then queen g6 check he can't take because of uh, our pawn we will take with the h pawn and that will be checkmate so king h8 and then h6 game over because now if he takes we will take and he can't prevent h takes on g7 if he takes on h6 then we will give checkmate with the rook so rook h6 is checkmate uh, that is also one of combinations what can happen here and uh, practically black is not uh, able to play some other things here because he's really limit with his king and that is how we can use operation blitzkrieg i hope you understand this we will see a lot of different positions so it will be much easier for you to recognize that in your game Okay, thank you. If you like this, please subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.